All right, hey cool kids. Today is lesson three of Rotating Shapes and today's lesson is called Connecting Your Rotating Shapes. Remember how we started off with a square, we learned how to push a line over just a little bit and by doing that over and over and over again, it made the shape look like it was rotating. Now you guys had some homework. Don't tell me that you didn't, cause you did. Um, your homework was to do three shapes, a square, a triangle, and a shape of your choice. I went ahead and went with the diamond on here. So right now for this lesson to work, you need to have a piece of paper with a square, a triangle, and some other shape on it. Now they don't have to be all lined up across perfectly like mine, they can be moved around a little bit. But if you have not done this, hit the pause button and go do this, and then come back and talk to me. Um, for those of you guys that do have this, go ahead and get it out, get it ready, and you're gonna need your Sharpie marker. I'm gonna ask you to do a little something that's kinda cool. Um, it's small, but it kinda makes a big difference. On your piece of paper, take your Sharpie, and just about a half inch from the edge, as straight as you can, um, make a line. About a half inch from the edge, make another line. And please do not go get a ruler for this. If you guys have not figured out, I am not a ruler kind of guy. Every now and then you need them, but most of the time, a slightly wavy, curvy line is, I really, really prefer that over a perfectly shaped, a perfectly straight line. All right, this is the cool part. This, remember if you, uh, if you remember from my first video, I said when you start doing this, a little bit of magic happens. Well, definitely the rotating of the shapes is magic, but the magic I was talking about, where something becomes greater than the sum of its parts, is what I'm about to show you right now. So what I'm gonna do, and have you guys do, you see the space in between my shapes? I am simply gonna connect that across, and if you, if if it's not straight across, let's say it was an angle down or an angle higher, like if this had been bigger, whatever it is, just connect it. Mine works kind of nicely because they're about the same height. And if you want yours to be the same height, you could hit the pause button and draw two more shapes again that are about the same height, but the height doesn't matter. Um, for example, I'm gonna do this here, connect to that point. This was a little bit higher, so I'm gonna go up to this point up here. I'm gonna do a little connector there. Now. Watch what happens when we use that exact same technique of drawing a straight line but scooching it over just a little bit. I'm gonna go which direction to blow your mind first. I'm gonna start up in this corner and it doesn't matter what corner you start in, you guys. It doesn't matter a lick. It's just gonna deter, well, you'll just see. Starting here, gonna do a pretty straight line till I scooch out, boom, hit. Please, again, the biggest thing to remind people of is don't come up here, get really close, make smaller changes. So the smaller changes you make, the more dramatic this thing is gonna look. All right, so now I'm going here. That's my first rotation. All right, from here, gonna scooch out a little bit. Don't get in a hurry. And you see what's starting to shape up over here? This is when I first saw this, this is what kind of blew my mind a little bit. Boom. I know that got really short right there. Now this one's gonna be so close, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it to right there. And yeah, we just lost one of our sides and that's okay. I'm gonna just scooch it up to the only side I have left there and over and over. Okay, do you see what just happened? That is the coolest thing in the world. This was my line right here, if you remember. That was where the box stopped and the shape in between. Oh my gosh, I can't even see my, my the triangle has disappeared. Do you see what happened here? It's nuts. I drew the thing and I can't even find it now. Okay, here it is. There is my original triangle. Do you see it right there? Boom, boom, boom. All right, and here's my original square. But when we do this shape, look at all this grooviness that happened in between right in here. And what we added doesn't stay just to itself. It takes over and connects to whatever was beside it, making this look like it could have been the original drawing when it was just a filler. 
mind blown. And it's gonna work for every one of these shapes. Now, this shape is kind of wonky in here, so am I allowed to add a line? Sure I am. So I'm just gonna come right across here and add one. I now have two shapes. Doesn't matter what corner I'm gonna be in. I'm gonna start right here. This just is the coolest thing ever. Scoot it over. Ooh, that was too big. I mean, it's not the end of the world, it's okay, but I wish I hadn't gone quite as big a gap right there. If you do that, just keep drawing, but try to make your lines a little thinner, maybe would be the word, closer. Again, make sure you're hitting that line. I love it when you get the rhythm going and your brain doesn't have to think as hard. All right. Now what was the space in between my shapes is now just as important as the shapes themselves. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go the opposite direction. It's a little weird through here, but there we go. I'm gonna slight, no, I'm just gonna leave it. Guys, isn't, that is just so stinking cool. It really does just, it blows my mind. We started off with a square and a triangle and a, I can't even find my diamond shape anymore. And there was a diamond somewhere over here. Um, and when we just kept doing the shape, this is what filled in. Um, this is your homework for today. Do your three shapes, connect in the space in between your shapes, and just use the same rotating shape design to fill it in so that you have something like this. Now, if you get that done and you wanna do more, I'm just gonna tell you, you can draw lines out from your corners in basically any direction you want, but I don't wanna give away too much because that'll be my next lesson but you see where I'm going with this. Okay, you guys, um, keep up the good work. I really do, I really want you guys to have your mom or dad take a photo of your drawings, send them to me at shaw at skank.org so I can post them on the gallery. And um, you guys keep drawing, bye.